Hello everyone. Thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Wendy L. Alexander and I am a cross-culture consultant, an international speaker, author, I'm a trainer, I am a coach, and I am just delighted to be here today. So what I do is I help women entrepreneurs to release their fear of staying local to going global. I truly believe that you should step outside your zip code into a different country code, that you should build connections, uh, meaningful connections uh, with other women that are around the world. So I provide coaching, I provide uh, mentoring. Also, I do a lot of speaking engagements um, as well as I'm an author of a book with some amazing women. Um, it's called Tear the Veil, Fearless Visionaries Tear the Veil. Uh, so you can definitely pick that up as well. Um, I have a Facebook group that's called um, Global Connections Business and Wellness. I host a podcast called the Global Success Society Talk Show. Would love to have um, one of you on there if you're interested. And uh, I just do a lot of training and definitely a lot of traveling. Um, I lived in Dubai uh, for the last, what, four years and now recently came back home to the U.S. So I'm excited to be home. But yes, I do miss Dubai. So I do a lot of international business. Um, how does my work empower uh, to influence women? Uh, people have told me that I inspire them to basically take the leap, um, to take risk. Uh, to be able to travel the world, to say that, you know what, I can be a mom, I can be a wife, and I can still be a global entrepreneur. Uh, and so I continue to show and show up and actually show that you can actually do those things. And so uh, I have women who have come to me and said, you are truly an inspiration to me. Uh, and so I just continue to push. Um, I've also shared my personal story, as I said, in Fearless Visionaries Tear the Veil, which has also inspired women to be able to open up. Because when you see me, people think, oh, she's this international entrepreneur. She's traveling the world. She has it made. You know, her life has always been great. And that is far from the truth. Um, and so I share my personal story, um, like I said, in Fearless Visionaries Tear the Veil. And so you will see parts of Wendy that you probably would have not normally seen before. And so now with that, I actually am able to motivate uh, women to actually to share their their story, to tear the veil, to share their story as well. So what do I enjoy most about being an entrepreneur? The freedom uh, and also being able to be with my family. I'm able to create the life that I love. I'm able to help other women. I'm able to connect and travel. Um, I also do uh, events that are actually in Dubai, which actually uh, help me to be able to connect and bring women together. I have a group called the Global Success Society, and that's a group where women actually come together. We network, uh, we do masterminds, we do one-on-one -on -one calls, we build, we collaborate, we have traveled together. Uh, we have met in Dubai together. We have done some local events. And so with that, it helps me to, co to continue to create more of that as being an entrepreneur. You know, the doors are wide open. Um, so I'm just so excited um, and blessed that I'm able to continue this journey. And what do I do that motivates me through difficult times? I pray. Number one, I pray. I meditate. I journal. Um, I do a lot of self-care, uh, just taking time out for me. Um, and also what a lot of people don't like to talk about, therapy. Um, and so I really believe, you know, sometimes people think that, oh, I don't have any problems or that's minor and I'm not going to talk about them. Therapy doesn't always have to be when you have a problem, okay? Therapy, therapy can be just an outlet for you to be able to vent, to share your feelings, to have the feedback from someone else who's not going to judge you, right? And so therapy has helped me through tough times and of course my family support as well. Um, but a lot of praying, you know, I, 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 prayer is definitely the number one um, that has gotten me through my difficult times. And also my circle that I have, I have a close knit circle. I have some sisters that are just there for me at all times. They pray for me, we pray together. 
Uh, and so that's amazing for me. So I had them to go to is, is it's a true sisterhood, you know, and sometimes it's hard to find that true sisterhood and sometimes it's hard to trust people. Um, but I have found that. And so I'm so grateful uh, for them as well. And they are part of the Global Success Society and the Fearless Visionaries. Uh, so I, I'm really grateful for them. Okay, what piece of advice would I give to women? Oh, wow. I have so much that I would always give. Um, always trust in yourself and your abilities. Uh, know your worth. Know that you are special. Uh, keep going and trust the process. You know, things might be difficult, especially now during this time. Um, things are difficult. Uh, we are going through a difficult, difficult time. But I always say keep pressing forward. Someone needs to hear you. Someone needs to hear what you have to say. You have a gift inside that, and you have a voice that needs to be heard. So don't hold back. If you've been holding back and you're just doubting yourself and just like, hmm, I just don't know.